Okay, I have some awesome homeschool mom gifts. So gifts for the homeschool mom or homeschool, whoever runs the homeschool, but generally it's mom. So that's what I'm thinking about. Mama, why am I homeschooled? If you are a dad in homeschool, this book is not for you. Unless it's okay with you that every single page says, Mama, why am I homeschooled? And it's got a different family talking about different reasons as to why they are homeschooled. I, I loved it. I think it's great. My little kid at the end was like, Mama, why am I homeschooled? And I got to say, so we can lay in bed and read books for hours. Number two, the next on my list would be a printer. It depends. Now I get it. There's stuff for all different budgets, but if you, you would want an ink tank, an ink tank can print 7,800 pages for $40 of ink. It's amazing. Number three, if price is still no object and you're like, oh, let's get her everything she wants. A laminator It's not necessary to homeschool with a laminator, but it's definitely cool. It's definitely kind of fun. The next would be a cowbell so she can ring it when school starts. The next is one of my favorites, and this is what I bought myself for Christmas, which is Minimalist Homeschooling. It's a book that she probably doesn't have, um, and it's it's pretty good. And one of the things in here, which is a bonus, something for your moms, but it's, anyway, is paper clips or bookmarks. I use paper clips for everything because I bookmark a ton of stuff, and I just love paper clips for it. That I mean, I'm not suggesting that should be your only gift, but again. As a mom, I love no matter what you make me or no matter what you get me. Another thing, another idea that I have on this list would be a rolling cart. Now that of course depends on, like people use what they have and if I had a rolling cart, perhaps I would use it more. So yes, a lot of these things on my list are things that I would like to receive. <laughs> okay, a family membership, a family membership to anywhere, to the zoo, to the museums, to, whatever they got around them, the science center. So whatever's around them, a family membership to that for the year would be fantastic. Another thing on my list that would be amazing would be one of those giant paper cutters. Do you know the ones, the old ones that they use? So pretty much anything a classroom uses would be kind of cool. Um, you know, where they have the big arm. That would definitely be cool. It's not necessary, but that again, that's why it's a Christmas gift, right? Is it's like, it's not necessary. So it's something I wouldn't buy for myself. I wouldn't buy myself a laminator, but boy, do I kind of want one. I do. Um, and then last on my list, I think this is the last item. It is. This is another thing I got myself for Christmas this year is it's called Blinkist, B-L-I-N-K-E-S-T, and it's book summaries. They don't have homeschool books on them, but they got book summaries about parenting and about I mean, a ton of stuff. And so they're summed up books, which I get is not the same as reading a book, but it's kind of cool to get the, like one of the books I was reading the other day, and this isn't sponsored. One of the other books I was listening to the other day was a summary of how to make your kids excel. And that's not to have them do a hundred different things, but to have them choose what they like or notice what they're interested in and just go full bore into that. So for example, my one son's into skating. My other son is into composing. All right, go full bore into it instead of having them be like, okay, you gotta do chess for a bit, and now you gotta do music for a bit, and then you gotta do hockey for a bit, and then you, whatever it is. Um, it's just a, it was this book on um, successful children or fulfilled children or something like that, but it was pretty good. So again, Blinkist, and I guess that's it for my list. I think that's everything. Oh, the last thing would be, I guess, Curiosity Stream. Um, it's where they have a bunch of documentaries. I would never pay for that my, for myself, but if I had it, I would, um, I, I would definitely look into it. And I think as a family, we could watch more documentaries that way. And along those lines, there's this app called Tappity, which um, I'm not gonna pay for again. Uh, for my family, we used it for a little bit, but again, if I got a year membership to it, I might promote it more to my kids and be like, okay, let's watch some Tappity today. It's a science thing. Um, that's not necessary and is not, um, it was all right. So it just wasn't like, it wasn't, great enough for me to be like, hey, let's slap down some money for that. But what was great enough to slap down some money, I guess, um, I guess, that's because I don't slap down money a lot, to be honest. I'm pretty conservative with what we get, but um, would be if we got a year membership for Code Spark, which is coding, because the kids love it. They love it, and that's a gift for me because it, it gives me endless time. Like, it gives me a lot of time. I could be like, right now, they're upstairs playing Code Spark. Um, so I can let them use their tablets and, and not worry that something is getting broken or, or there's arguments or debates and I can actually do deep work or work on something and it's because of CoSpark. So there you go. Those are some gifts. I hope those help. And <laughs> all right, have a good day. 
and you say please like and subscribe. Say bye to like. And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell for notifications.